Ciao. Hello my Aries friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your reading for the month of September about what Spirit wants you to know and the energies coming ahead. Let's see what's going on for you, shall we? My goodness. Five of Swords, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. Alright, pull out these cards here. So are you about to make a decision that you may end up regretting or you feel it's an unwise choice. You're walk, watching people walk into a situation that you feel very well may not be a wise choice for them. My cards are upside down again. has to do with a soulmate, perhaps, or perhaps your children. has to do about equal reciprocity and love. I can tell you that much. Someone giving what they, getting what they give, creating balance in a scenario. Ugh, every time I pull a card, it sticks to the last bottom one. Queen of Wands, there's your guys' energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius, gorgeous, compassionate, passionate. Go fight for what she wants. She's incredibly intuitive, possibly involved in the arts. This is a very, this is a person who understands how to create the abundance they seek. And then we have taking a leap of faith possibly towards this person, possibly towards uh, enveloping the trueness of who you are as a human being on this planet. Your divine spark that's here with you, in you, that is you, your soul, your inner being. We have working together, learning, growing, being a team player, taking a leap of faith towards being that team player, possibly smoothing some waters, smoothing over some waters perhaps, that things that have happened in the past, lying, cheating, stealing you feel, or people not treating you with just kindness. The end of a cycle, start of a new one. Time to step through that portal. You've done a job well here, my friends. Oh, look at that beautiful Ace of Cups comes out after all of this. Yeah, it's time for you to feel something new in your life. Time for you to feel a new project, maybe. This is something you can feel with whatever you want it to be. Something that'll make you emotional, happy. Could be an offer of love. A new start or a new phase in a love relationship starting could be a new home. Someone could be moving to a new new place of work as well. Or combining your work life in your home life. Postcard from Spirit, please. Postcard from Spirit. Okay, I guess I'm taking this one because that one did not want to come out. All right message from the hidden realms spirit message the whale watcher and a message from our angels what do they got cooking up in the background what are they seeing that you're not seeing best advice from the angels from the Aries friends I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now wowzers this card keeps coming out doesn't matter how much I shuffle the deck Yes, it's meant to be for a lot of people right now. Now, this could be a marriage in company of companies. This could be a marriage. It's a general reading now. A marriage for love. This could be a marriage that you're already in. It could be a marriage who's going through issues and troubles and the divine stepping in to help with your relationship. Okay, so marriage can be about a relationship as well. All right, what was I going to do next? I don't remember. All right, let's get started. So we have an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation and review everyone's motives. 
So people do things for selfish motives, they do things for upright motives, they do things for all sorts of different kinds of reasons. And the only person's motives that you really can review, in my opinion, are your own motives. Okay, so the Five of Swords is about a fight that's happened or a battle that's happened that people are coming out of and there's people that are wounded and hurt and there's someone who's being smug because they won. So we have children involved in this fight and entirely possibly another fire sign. Also looks like you want to take a leap of faith towards working together uh, based on what this fight was about in order to end the cycle that's been going on, the tension that's between the children perhaps and your spouse or a mother figure and the grandchildren or the you really want to take that leap forward towards working it out but I think there's some hesitation based on things un unseen yet and you're just not sure which way to move forward I think you're waiting to to find clarity and wisdom on the situation possibly asking the divine to come in and help would be an incredibly wise choice right now and understand the motives in which you, you, you know, what, what are your motives? Make sure your motives are intent or your intent is pure in the scenario that, you know, you're not out to just win just for the sake of winning. You actually want everybody to be heard. And when you do that, then coming from that place, that's when this can happen, this new cup of love here. So... In order for this phase to end, people need to work together. You need to work together if this argument or whatever is about children, if this argument is about someone following their passions, about going learning, going to study, uh, maybe going back to school, how it will affect children, how uh, a leap of faith towards doing this will affect everybody in the family and you're concerned about your marriage on the flip side of that. It's a new phase. That's, it's a phase that's going to end and you're going to start something beautiful and brand new here. So you want to create beauty. You want to learn and grow. You want to take a leap of faith towards bringing abundance your way, happiness and solidity in your family life, perhaps with children, perhaps with a soulmate in whatever area this area this is but you really need to check your motives and understand when you make a decision based on motives that are for selfish gain and not for the gain of the group when you make motives out of selfishness or make moves choices out of selfishness that's when you end up with people starting to lie and cheat and steal in order that's where seven of swords comes from in my opinion someone trying to avoid a battle I don't see any avoidance of a battle here, but being I got the Five of Swords, I got the Six of Swords, which would normally be next, and then the Seven of Swords, which is trying to avoid the battle altogether. So, which is not out here yet, so we're not to that stage. But that's why I say that, you know, when you make choices, it's really important right here to understand that your choices are going to affect everybody and to make it from a selfless point of view. Remove I... And replace it with we and come up with whatever is the best trajectory for that all right let's find out what's over down here let's read the whale watcher wisdom power of the divine card number seven something very spiritual going on here The well watcher signals the need to go within to con contemplate the true source of power in the world, which he reminds you is it. Or blah, 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 sorry, which he reminds you it is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be here, and will be yours to align with. The affirmation and prayer will invite you. Uh, okay, let's try this again. The well watcher signals the need to go within to complete the true, contemplate the true source of power in the world, which he reminds you is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. 
The affirmation and prayer will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolutions into your life. Thy will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose. You will know the way forward by the still small voice within. The divine also may answer your call by sending others to help, help guide you. As a challenger, the well watcher comes to let you know that you've run out of steam. Self will alone isn't enough to make things happen. All cannot be yours at this time. If you feel you're going nowhere, it's because you're meant to stay put. Willingness can, I'm sorry, willfulness can lead to your becoming like a bull in a china shop, creating havoc as you push forward. Remember the sacred creative source of the water in the well. Drink some, be still, and contemplate the true origin of power. It isn't you, so drink deeply of the wisdom of the divine and listen to the beautiful music playing through your life. When you've made conscious contact with your higher power, you can move forward again, replenished and renewed. This is also an important time to restore harmony in your relationship since you may be temporarily out of tune with one another. If there's a power struggle between you, remember that only the divine has true power and you won't feel the need to struggle anymore. That's beautiful. For this struggle that's going on here, it's perfect. Check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation, desire, or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek like safety or wholeness, know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in the direction your soul calls you toward joy, discover, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step toward surrender to what whatever spirit has in store for you, you will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. Life loves you more than you know. I hope you guys have a great September. These are the message Spirit, Spirit wants to bring to you.